There's no way that you can spin this, that this is a victory for anyone. The city is gone. There are hundreds of thousands of people dead. I'm Stuart Hooper, a lecturer in political science and PhD researcher. Be sure to subscribe if you are new here to my channel where I'm putting out a critical view of international politics. Here on this channel, we're not buying into the mainstream narratives. We're certainly not buying into the mainstream political parties on either side. We're trying to get to the truth, the reality of the situation. Please remember to hit like on this video. Leave me your comments below on what you think about these particular stories because this one is very important. Um, the city of Bakhmut, um, around 70,000 people used to live here. Prior to the start of the war, of course, many of them would have left and gone out while they could have. Um, it's been the center of fighting in Ukraine for the past six months. Um, both the Ukrainians and the Russians have refused to give up on this city, despite the fact that as every military expert that I have listened to on this issue has stated... This city has no strategic importance, meaning that it has no infrastructure of value. It's not really in a position where you need it to be able to defend something else. Um, what it has instead become is a symbol of the war, a symbol of the conflict, um, a symbol that both sides have been jockeying over so that they can claim it as a significant ultimately at this point, propaganda victory for their forces. Now, the headline of this article, very important, this one only came out yesterday. Russian forces claim progress in Bakhmut, but no end in sight. So it's trying to push the idea that this is certainly something that's going to continue to go on and on and on as a problem in the war in Ukraine. However, we're going to look at a couple of other reports in a second, which really call that idea into question. The battle for Bakhmut has lasted six months and reduced the city with a pre-war population of more than 70,000 to a smoldering wasteland. It's not clear which side has paid a higher price. It's really no longer even legitimate to call this a city. This is now just a pile of rubble filled with tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dead civilians and soldiers. This is why this war needs to come to an end sooner rather than later. Now, remember what that AP article said. This is a battle with no end in sight. Well, unfortunately, NATO's chief came out and warned that that's actually probably not the case. And that was Jens Stoltenberg who said, quote, what we see is that Russia is throwing more troops, more forces, and what Russia lacks in quality, they try to make up in quantity. We cannot rule out that Bakhmut may eventually fall in the coming days. But he added, this does not necessarily reflect any turning point of the war. And it does now appear that that has happened. As you can see in this latest headline, Russian mercenaries, that's the Wagner Group, claim control of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine. So that story broke shortly after Stoltenberg made his announcement. And remember, all of these stories that we've heard over the start of this year about, well, Ukraine just needs more weapons, it just needs tanks, it just needs fighter jets, it just needs different types of rockets and artillery, and it's been firing far more artillery shells than the Western military industrial complex can even keep up with producing. I mean, my God, that's a lot of, that's a lot of artillery. Um, and despite all of this, the city has still fallen and it's fallen to the Russians. Um, we actually had a story also that came out the other day that I think really illustrates what's happened here. And that is, quote, America is in over its head. This was an opinion piece regarding the war in Ukraine that was published in the New York Times of all places, which I think is uh, rather interesting. But we also had 
This story came out yesterday, which is just mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. And, and when things like this are published, this is why people are so critical of the media. This is why people are so critical of mainstream Western governments. A Russian victory in Bakhmut... Yes, read that again. A Russian victory in Bakhmut would be a costly strategic defeat for Putin. Putin's obsession with winning the city is a vast waste of ammunition and lives. Yes. Yes, we can agree. That's true. But you know what else is true? That this has been a costly strategic defeat for the Ukrainians as well. Nobody has won here. There's no way that you can spin this, that this is a victory for anyone. The city is gone. There are hundreds of thousands of people dead. Stories like this are what push people into positions of thinking that their governments are illegitimate, that the media is illegitimate. And then what do these people do? They turn around and want to claim that people online are conspiracy theorists. Or that they buy into alternative facts. And they're publishing stuff like this. I don't know what to say on, on this one, everyone. Um, leave me your comments below. Would love to hear them. Um, I've got nothing else to say on this one. This is just as ridiculous as it gets. Leave me your comments below. Hit like. Share this video where you possibly can. Remember to subscribe if you're new here. Really appreciate the support. And I'll be back with more videos real soon.